Hey guys, so I had to show you this. Um, if you've watched my videos, you're gonna know that the last thing I wanna do is lay around and mope about it. If you watched my previous video, there was a family event going on today that was a two hour drive for me. We got a little down the road and decided I couldn't do it because I did just have um, uh, staples removed from my back from surgery two days ago on Friday. So it's still pretty early and I do, as you've noticed, I can't put a lot of pressure on my back and I still can't, you know, sit straight on a chair. So in the car, I'm having to turn this way because it's just too sensitive. So anyways, my husband decided to do some repairs in the kitchen and it made it to where the kitchen was inaccessible and that's where I do my ironing. The only time I do iron is when I have uh, jeans to hem or a cross stitch pattern to hem, which I flip, or to, not hem, but to iron, and I flip it over and iron it from the back and do it on a really cool setting so it doesn't burn it. I've got other tables, um, like I have this table as an option, but it's too heavy for me. And <laughs> this is how I set it up. These are actually TV trays, if you can see. I'll get in a spot where you can see it. Those are TV trays. And of course my ironing board is really short and I have to have it that way because I can't lift the ones that have the tall legs. Those are too heavy for me. So I use the short one. Well, since I couldn't use the kitchen table, I decided to set this up so I can get these finished. Of course, they have been sitting for a few weeks. So that's another reason why when I can participate, I make it a priority so that when I can't, it makes it not so hard. It's still not easy to have to opt out, um, but it does make it a lot easier to accept that and know that there's going to be other things that you can be a part of. So, and you know, laying around and moping about it just isn't on my list of fun things to do because what happens when you cry makes your blood pressure go up makes everything hurt worse, and you do nothing but focus on the pain. That's not something I really care to do. It makes everything so much worse. So anyways, I had to post that, because um, yeah, I was really fighting my tears in my last video, because I, I, you know, none of us are gonna be here forever. And there is gonna come a point where we're gonna be forgotten. But my, my perspective is, I want the friends and family like I'm not I don't want to try to make history I don't want to try to get the world to remember me no that's too that's too big no no my goal is my family and if I can you know my goal is to help that one person so if I can give my family a different way to look at things that's what my goal is so instead of moping around about it I decided to tackle a project I've needed to do for a few weeks but because of surgery I've obviously put it off and this is probably as far as I'm gonna make it I finally got them cut got them pinned now it's time to sew and I hand stitch them I don't have a sew, uh, a sewing machine I don't I'd rather hand stitch it but that's just how I've come to you know prefer doing things so anyways I wanted to show that my husband did get a you know quite a good laugh out of it I thought it was kind of cute kind of funny um, so anyways, this is another reason why I encourage anybody that watches my videos that when you can participate, do it. Because one, the distraction is what helps. But there's times when your pain is just too much, especially after surgery. So at least if you do have to opt out, your friends and family are going to understand that more. Okay. In fact, my family was actually pretty happy we opted not to go. So anyways, I'm going to go rest. I am hurting. Again, we wouldn't have even been there yet had we, you know, decided to go ahead and go. So I decided to do other things and keep a distraction and know that there's going to be other family events. So I just take care of stuff I need to take care of and rest in the process. So y'all have a great day. I hope these videos help you see the glass is always half full, even as a chronic pain patient. You can always make the best of it, always. It's all mindset. Yeah, that's another repair we've worked on. Uh, my husband was actually up in the attic and almost fell through. So, but we got other repairs we got to do up there anyways. Again, this house is old, but I love it because it's small. And keeping up with the housework is actually pretty easy. I love it. So, 
anyways, y'all have a great day. And if you are hurting today, find a distraction. Find something to do. Another thing I've done is with a little friend, we made little flowers out of, uh, if you can see that, um, we made flowers out of, oh my goodness. I can't think of the name of the paper, but it's a real flimsy paper. I can't think of the name right now. Anyways, made flowers for Mother's Day and Father's Day. Um, so just find your distraction. Find something that helps you feel better. And just know there's going to always be a time. But, you know, another thing that makes, you know, family events very important to me is because you never, none of us know when our time is going to be. You know, none of us are promised tomorrow. We have here and we have now. That's the way I see it. So, when you have the opportunity and you can, again, remember that when you are happy in the moment, your, your brain releases the dopamine chemical, which is actually just as effective as hydrocodone or the opiates or of any kind, hydrocodone, oxycodone, any kind of opiate. It is just as effective as those. The only thing is we don't get that high that we get from the opiates but it actually helps just as much with pain when you do when you are distracted and when you feel happy and in addition to that if you keep putting off no I can't do it this time no I can't do it that time you keep refusing it when at the end of the year rolls around you're going to look back and have no memories you know and again I have a family member who's since passed it was her time an elderly um, passed in her elder years, who didn't participate. And the only memories that we had was when we went to her house to visit. That's not what I want to give my family at all, at all. So if you don't accept or go to a venue, you know, like my family knows the earlier in the day, the better for me. My friends know that, and they know that there's certain functions I cannot do, like going to a carnival, if I go, as you've seen in a previous video, I'm going to take my dog because I don't want to sit there and do nothing and watch everyone else have fun. That's not fun for me. So find a way for you to enjoy yourself, but go so you've got those memories and you're giving those memories to your friends and family. Whereas if you don't, the end of the year rolls around, you look back and there's nothing for you to smile on. That's not fun. That's not cool. And that's not a life to live. So... Anyways, I hope these videos are helping somebody, anybody, I don't care who, um, but I hope they're helping. And be a part of your family when you can, so that when you can't, you can be at peace with it. So, I love you guys. Thank you for watching my videos. And if they are helping even one person, that is my only goal. It really is, to help my only goal. Or to help a viewer or to help even one person is my goal and give a different perspective, which is my attitude. So anyways, y'all have a great day.